PC Sonic, the heart of your system. I'm Neil Ward for Kit Guru here at the Be Quiet Suite at CES 2020. And I have to spell out it's Be Quiet because I've got a case with RGB. This case is the PureBase 500DX. We reviewed the regular 500 a short time ago, it did quite well. I also used the regular 500 in a build with Dave Alcock of AlphaCool. Uh, enjoyed the case a great deal. This is an upgrade. Uh, basically, it's been meshified. That, that's the short answer there. And also, it's gained RGB in the front. It has three fans rather than two, so one in the front, one in the roof, one in the rear, obviously you can move them around. Pricing has increased very slightly, so the 500DX is going to cost you 100 euros. They are refusing to commit to pound pricing, I can't blame them, but let's hope that means about 100 pounds. The regular 500 is 80 euros, the regular 500 continues. So you can have your 500DX in white or black, the 500 comes in white, black or gunmetal. Nice little case, uh, it still counts as entry level. Pure Rock 2 is a budget cooler. It's been very slightly updated from the original Pure Rock. It now has direct contact heat pipes. The black version is 44 euros. The silver or non uh, colored version is 39 euros. So you're paying five for the uh, difference in color. If you have a look, you can see the fins are very closely packed. Uh, as opposed to this Shadow Rock 3, which has much wider fins. Shadow Rock uh, moving up the uh, product stack. Shadow Rock 3 has been updated uh, and also has direct contact heat pipes. It's got that asymmetric design so you can clear your memory. It also means it's prone to toppling if you're a careless person talking into a microphone. Rated at 190 watts, priced at 49 euros. We're now into mid-range territory. We've had a bit of a debate here. The uh, 190 watt TDP rating means it's good for overclockers of mid-range uh, mid CPUs. Once you move up to the high end, on the other hand, it's going to start pushing the TDP limits of that uh, cooler. The nature of the Shadow Rock 3 means that it's not suitable for Threadripper. There are no mounts for Threadripper in the package. It's not intended for that application. So mainstream CPUs is the thing. Uh, that is coming in April. So once again, we're looking a quarter up the road. In addition to the direct contact heat pipes, they've also added a heat pipe. There are five heat pipes rather than four. And the funny thing is it was Luke, the chap behind the camera, actually pointed that out to the Be Quiet people. Luke, he knows his shadow rocks, he do. So that's coming in one quarter's time. And then we come to the big boy, the Dark Power Pro 12. This is a super duper high end power supply that's due in February, so next month. Comes in two versions 1200 watt for 389 euros, 1500 watts for 439 euros. So a monumentally expensive power supply. However, it packs absolutely every feature you could want. And thankfully, They've included a whole load of the components from this power supply as we can actually see inside it. The headline features titanium rated, which is uh, clearly a, a major thing. It's also fully digital, entirely detachable cables you can see from the panel. Uh, they've got this clever little feature here. The idea is that you plug in this uh, little switch and then you can switch all the rails, the 12 volt rails, so everything's running through the one rail. We've done some maths. More accurately, if I'm entirely frank, Luke has done some maths. He thinks if you're using Threadripper or possibly High Index 299, you're going to need to switch all the 12 volts to one rail to avoid the CPU overloading the power supply. However, the facility is there. It's impressive. The internal design is practically wire free. Those are the only cables inside this uh, power supply. Uh, it's obviously got enormous heat sinks, but it's been pointed out to us that although the chassis is made of aluminium, that is not intended to work as a heat sink because the chassis picks up the correct one, has a plastic shield around it. So it doesn't actually have thermal contact with the metal casing. So the aluminium uh, casing is more of an aesthetic thing. And we like aluminium, quite frankly, but it's not going to help the cooling of the power supply. The components inside the power supply include a 135 mil fan, which is frameless. The fan is not a no stop design. Design, so that's a, I think, triple negative there, uh, because when fans actually stop and start and stop and start, it hurts their lifespan. They're happy running the fan down to very low RPM and then speeding up as necessary. So it's an enormous fan inside this power supply. 
The other components show us uh, what Be Quiet was doing during the development of the design, but there's absolutely no denying that the end result is a power supply that's rated at the most monumental numbers. Uh, we've not seen a power supply with its fully digital that's rated at this wattage and that is titanium. Uh, it justifies the price, but until we get it on the test bench, we cannot say whether it sounds like good value or not. Expensive for sure, but they're promising a huge amount with this product. Here is the fan in question. It's a Silent Wings 3 design, 135 mil rated to 2600 RPM. This bundle of cables is included, so you can avoid paying, by my reckoning, 50 to 100 euros to cable mods. And I speak to a man that's recently spent a blooming fortune with that company. So here we go, you get an entire range of custom cables and combs. Obviously, you need to keep to black. However, that's in keeping with the Be Quiet aesthetic. There is a lot of kit coming with this power supply. We're going to close over in the corner of the room where we've seen this build by Mod My Mods, which they've called the Clean Machine, built into a dark base Pro 900 case with a whole load of Alpha Cool uh, hardware. Looks like a lovely build. Primary parts are Ryzen 7 3800X and a GTX 2080. Uh, so that's our tour of the Be Quiet suite at CES 2020. The new power supply looks pretty impressive. Personally, that 500 case that's been meshified, I like that a great deal. This is Leo Water for Kit Guru. Hit the bell button, subscribe. We'll let you know about new videos as they become available.